Hello and welcome to some more Star Citizen. Today I wanted to talk about some of the stretch scroll rewards that were added to players' hangers over the last week. Uh, they are rewards for backers who backed between, well, before the 42 million to 100 million dollar crowdfunding mark. So if you backed before 42 million, um, you'll have all of these. Um, and if you backed after that, then you only have some. Any stretch goal numbers I mention are referring to all backers that backed before that number was reached. Uh, the War Bond is the one I'm going to mention uh, later on. Uh, that's the only one that's currently viewable in game, but you can see the rest of these that were added to your uh, hangar on the RSI website. And I'm going to explain and go over exactly what they're meant to do uh, and what the original blurb about them was. The $42 million reward, the Explorer Class Moby Glass Rig. Every player who backed before we hit the $42 million mark will start the game with their own visually distinctive Moby Glass Exoglass Rig, which can be used to access the Observist at any time. I've charged the Moby Glass team with a very difficult task, creating a realistic interface that will help keep your affairs in order in an expansive galaxy. It's almost like building our own in-fiction operating system for an imagined future. And it's a very different task than building spaceships. This backer-exclusive Moby Glass kit will come preloaded with additional galactic information that new players would ordinarily need to explore or barter to fill out. It's our way of honouring the information that we've collected about the Star Citizen universe through the RSI website and the community over the past years. So basically that Explorer class Moby Glass is going to be a slightly different looking Moby Glass with some information already on it. It's going to have part of a database, some Explorer type uh, maps, um, some information of the local areas already on it for you. So you don't have to um, do so much exploring or at least you're better informed before you go exploring. $45 million award was the Hadesian Artifact. The mystery of what happened in Hades has been one of the great archaeological puzzles ever since the system was discovered in the early 26th century. The evidence suggests that the Hadesians nearly er erased their entire civilization in a devastating civil war that left a planet cracked in half. But so many questions remained. Who were these Adesians? How did they start this war? Over the centuries, even the public became enamoured by the mystery of this system. This curiosity was inflamed when scientists recently discovered a lone Hadesian artefact on the black market of all places. Trinket manufacturers quickly tried to capitalise on the resurgence of interest by building exact copies of the artefact for sale to the public, even replicating the unidentified symbols along the base. So this is likely to be some cool hangar flare, but those unidentified symbols may have some form of use. It may be a clue to um, some sector of space. You may be able to go and open a vault with it. Um, you may be able to decipher those symbols. There's a lot of stuff that might happen. We're not entirely sure what, but I would be just happy with some cool hangar flare. The $47 million reward was the engine tuning kit. Wilkes and Ferdinand Max Tune Kit has become one of the best-selling starter kits for the discerning home enthusiast. Featured in Whitley's latest Steel of the Year issue, this kit comes with everything the fledgling engineer needs to take a deeper look into the mechanics of their engine. With a tap analyzer, you'll be able to view your engine's current output and energy draw numbers in an easy, comprehensible way. Use the 38-piece Omni tool to access your engine to start tweaking. Wilkes and Ferdinand is not responsible for damage incurred after tuning your engine. Please consult with the manufacturer's warranty before performing work. So there are going to be engine tuning kits in game. There's going to be lots of tweaking uh, in Star Citizen for uh, racers and people that just want to optimise their ships to be as good as possible. Uh, this is just likely to be one of the uh, starter, as it suggests, um, kits available that you'll just get for free. Um, it's not a, like a massive bonus, but it's still something extra on your account. The $49 million reward was the Jean Space Plant. Similar to a bonsai tree, the Centennial Bloom is a very famous Jean plant indigenous to the Elis III that blooms for one night every hundred years. They sell the plants in sealed terrariums to traders. Ever since their introduction to the UEE, humanity has been fascinated by these beautiful plants and the wait for them to bloom. So this is likely to be some quite cool hangar flare um, that may bloom at some point in our lifetimes for literally one day, um, which will be pretty cool. I'm looking forward to that as just hangar flare. The $52 million reward was the BB-12 Manned Maneuvering Unit. The BB-12 is the new manned maneuvering unit from Azure Sky Aero. Whether you're a engaging in precision mining operations or delicate salvage retrieval, the BB-12 is capable of 
EVA operation for six uninterrupted hours. This new model features 24 precision nozzle thrusters and two redesigned heavy duty tanks of gaseous nitrogen propellant, capable of being hot swapped while on the drift or refueled back on the ship. With the BB-12, Azure Sky has once again cemented their place as the premier EVA tech provider. So this is likely just to be a relatively good EVA rig for your character for floating around in space with some extra features or maybe a bit more speed or a bit more agility. The $55 million reward was the Preacher Armament Inquisition 22 Gatling. So the Preacher Inquisition 22 is the weapon to turn to when you want complete target saturation. Its dual feed ammo allows you to hot swap feeds without e exiting your ship, giving every owner the ultimate flexibility to pick the ammo based on the situation. This Arena Commander upgrade will be given to all players who pledged before they reach their $55 million goal. Um, we'll be placing two of these guns on every account in the back before $54 million, and they'll be coming in a future patch of Arena Commander. These guns will be among the first to come off of our new component pipeline. So you'll get two of these Gatling guns. I'm not even sure what size they are. Uh, my gut feeling is that it'll be the size one or size four, because we already have um, Gatlings for the other sizes. The $56 million award was the J-SPAN Cryostar Cooler. Award-winning designers at J-SPAN have produced one of the most advanced cooling systems yet. The Crystar utilizes a new kind of liquid cooling technology guaranteed to keep your engines cool without sacrificing power. My expectation here is for a um, re relatively good cooling system, probably a light cooling system in the new item system. When they were making these rewards, they were looking at smaller ships in general, like fighters uh, and that sort of stuff. So I would expect it to be a light one for that reason. That's just my gut feeling. The $100 million reward was the War Bond. The War Bond is issued in the year you started backing, so uh, 2942 and A uh, if you backed in 2012, uh, 2943 and B if you backed in 2013, and so on, C and D. For now, it's just a small piece of decoration, and someday when this cruel war with the Vandal comes to an end, we'll give you the option to redeem these for credits. It's a small example of the kind of fun, immersive things a larger team allows us to add to the game. The War Bond is one of these that physically appears in your hangar at the moment as well. It's a piece of hangar flare as well. The text on the war bond states United Empire of Earth Savings Bond 100 UEC. UEE War Finance Committee and then the date of issue. This is to certify that the bearer is the owner of a war bond, thereby becoming an investor in this empire's fight for human liberty. And to make life free and forever peaceful for all. The United Empire of Earth for value received promises to provide recompense equal to the value of the bond plus imperial interest rate up to a maximum of 100 million credits. The income derived from this note is subject to all taxes imposed under the law at the time. So you're eventually about to hand these bonds in for some UEC if you wish, or keep them as hangar flare. Um, I expect as well that if you've got an A bond, they'll be worth more when you can eventually turn them in than a D bond would be, because you've backed for more years, they're worth more interest-wise. So that's the items that they recently added to the RSI website hangers for anyone that was eligible for them. But there are also two other rewards that they seem to have missed out or haven't added yet from the 42 to 100 million dollar range. The $46 million reward is supposed to be updated scanning software. Chimera Communications unveiled the latest version of their S-Bit scanning software, also announcing a one-time free upgrade for their current and long-standing customers. The new S-Bit upgrade offers advanced scanning capabilities for prospecting asteroids above and beyond their baseline systems. S-Bit is a FIB-based system that floods the scan zone with energy, then processes the frequency of the energy reflected back, providing the operator with a composite sketch of potential ore deposits. With the new version, Chimera included an updated library of searchable frequencies as well as variable scan sizes, allowing smaller surface high resolution scans. The general public will be able to purchase the update when SBIT is officially released. So this is gonna be a, a software update or module for miners allowing you more options and allowing you to do more um, with what you're scanning, what you're trying to find and that sort of stuff. I'm not sure if it's going to be high tier or low tier or whatever, uh, but it's going to be useful, especially to start on your account with. 
The $44 million award that was missing currently is the Stellar Cartography Map Room. Walk among the distant horizons you've charted in Star Citizen's dedicated map room, featuring a 3D holographic representation of the known universe. Your map room will start with a basic guide to the United Empire of Earth and will then expand into something that is unique to you as you explore uncharted worlds and discover new secrets. Build the most in-depth universe map possible and then show it off to visitors. Or lock down your secret jump points and hidden trading posts so that no one else can follow. Interface directly with the Observist Guide to find out everything from what ores are in demand on MacArthur um, to who serves the best pastor on Terra. With the ability to leave your own notes about your encounters and travels, it's more than a map. It's your digital diary. We have seen some incredibly early ideas from ages ago about a map room or maybe what was going to be the star map before they they improved it so significantly on the website. But the actual map room does really excite me from a content point of view. Having that um, just straight up on the account will allow me to do lots of cool stuff, showing it off to other people as well as generally organising people with some sort of visual uh, map that I can organise. Now, it's almost certain you'll be able to buy one in-game, uh, but just having it on your account to start with is pretty cool. So that's basically an explanation of the backer rewards that may or may not have been added to your account based on when you um, backed Star Citizen. And don't worry if you desperately wanted something, pretty much everything will be obtainable in game in some way or another. Um, so you don't have to worry about that if you didn't get in some of those early rewards that you desperately wanted. I would expect over the next few months we start to get some of these phased into Star Citizen so that we can actually start using them properly. But until then you'll have to make do just with the war bond in the hangar. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. It's really appreciated. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you've got anything you want to tell me, um, any other uh, questions you want to ask or whatever, go into the comments below, type something. I will check pretty much every comment out and I will try to reply to as many of them as I possibly can. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the verse. <laughs>